Well, hello and welcome. Welcome to the first semi-final here in the ninth season of Baijus Presents The Star Quiz Challenge 2019, powered by Amity University Dubai. I'm the quiz master, Mohan Kapoor, and it's my pride and joy to present to y'all our first three semi-final teams whose journey y'all have witnessed right from the start and will till the grand finale. Come together, let's meet our first three semi-final teams. My name is Zira Snar and I'm from grade 8. My name is Gaur Sudish, I'm from grade 9. And we are from Arun English, English High School, School Charger Boys. Boys. My name is Krishan Sakharis from grade 9. My name is Omar al Mirgi from grade 10. And we're, we're from, from Dubai American, American Academy. Academy. Hello, I'm Adil Abdul Khada, studying in grade 10. And I am Conrad Rodriguez, also studying in grade 10 of... Crescent, Crescent English, English High School, School, Dubai. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. You are seeing the first three teams of our first semi-finals here in the ninth season of Baijus Presents the Star Quiz Challenge 2019 powered by Amity University Dubai. Welcome one, welcome all. Wow, what a grand evening this is going to be. Thank you all. The American ultra marathon runner Dear Karnasis said, run when you can, walk when you have to, crawl if you must, just never give up. And I'm sure all three teams have brought this fighting spirit with them today. With that expectation, let's head into our first round, which is Head Start. Each team starts with 60 points, two direct questions per team. Teams are expected to allocate all points. Teams forfeit the points allocated to an incorrect option. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Teams B, Team C, let's put our hands together for my Team A, our own English High School Sharjah Boys. As you know, you have got 78 points that you have already uh, acquired from your quarterfinals. Well done on that. Are we ready? Wonderful. And here's your question for 60 points. In 1985, approximately 35% of computer science graduates in the US were women. What is the approximate percentage as of 2018? Your options are option A, 30%, option B, 26%, and option C, 17%. And now, they play 60 points on this first question as a head start. First semi-final. Is that your final allocation of points? Wonderful. Okay, let's see. Which of your safe bets is correct? Will it be B? No, it will not be B. Now will it be A or will it be C? It's not A, so it is C. That's 17%. Boys, that was a good first question and answer. You got your 20 points on option C. I hope you're happy about that. All right. I'm taking you to question two. As per a health survey, which one of these is a female less likely to contract or suffer from? Your options are option A, diabetes, option B, obesity, or option C, Alzheimer's. Don't want to risk anything? You have 78 points from your quarterfinals and 20 first question here on Head Start. All right, they've given a little bit more weightage with points to their option C, but let's see what is the option that gets them their points at the end of their first round. Is it going to be A, is it going to be B, or is it going to be C? Oh, that's B and C both gone. B and C both gone. Unfortunately, but we come to the end of is this head start giving them six points at the end and now let's put our hands together for my team b dubai american academy dubai as you know you've got 116 points from your quarterfinals that's already there on your scorecard now you get 60 points for question one are you ready yes. wonderful all the very best and your question is which of these is actually a lake your options are option A, Sea of Galilee, option B, North Sea, option C, Bay of Bengal.
Look at that. Look at that. This could get them 60 points, or they could lose all 16. Well, okay, there you go. You stand to gain on that one. Suddenly the smile goes, and it's back! Those smiles are back. Look at that. Wonderful. Okay, once again, 60 points. On question two, for Head Start. As per data obtained from Google, which personality was trending on top at the end of year 2018 in the people category? Your options are A, Demi Lovato, option B, Anthony Bourdain, or option C, Meghan Markle. This is Team B, Dubai American Academy, Dubai's second question on Head Start. Their first question, which gave them a Head Start of 60 points. Let's see. You've not given anything to B. Never Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Anthony Bourdain. Okay. So is it going to be A? Is it going to be C? Or is it going to be B? What's the right option? Well, it's not A and B, it is C. Meghan Markle, well done. 44 points, that's what I call a head start. Well done, Team B, well done. And now, with great pleasure, I'd like to call at the table my Team C, Crescent English High School, Dubai. Welcome aboard, boys. Wish you all luck for your head start. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, great. You had... 87 points that you have brought to the table here from the quarterfinals. This is 60 points for your first question. Are you ready? Yes. Great. Your question is, which artist created the famous artwork Guernica? Your options are option A, Pablo Picasso, option B, Salvador Dali, or option C, Man Ray. Option A, Pablo Picasso, Option B, Salvador Dali. Option C, Man Ray. There seems to be an equal distribution and a pretty graphic distribution of their units for option A, B and C. I see art happening here at my quiz show, which is also very nice. Yes, so any of these three artists would envy it. What's it gonna be? Playing it safe, literally. So, well, it's not B and it's not C, so it is A, Pablo Picasso. Good on you. One third of the total 60 points with you. To disperse as per your choice for question two which is, which breed of dog topped American Kennel Club's list of most popular breeds for the 28th year? Your options are option A, Chow Chow, option B, Pug, or is it option C, the Labrador Retriever? 20 points for them to choose as they please. Oh, a lot of confidence there on option C. Just two points on A and two points on B. Okay, it's 16. Well done. Well done, boys. Well done. How do you feel at the end of this first round? Uh, we hope for the best. Now we'd prepare for the worst. Wow. That's a good way. All the best. I will always wish you all all the best. What a ninth season. What a beginning. No wonder I say this is UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. Boys, ladies and gentlemen, did you all know Annie Oakley, yes, Annie Oakley, became a sharpshooter merely at the age of 15. She had said, aim at a high mark and you will hit it. Spot on for our next round, Bullseye. Three questions in total. Each question is preceded by an image. Team hitting the buzzer first gets to answer. Incorrect or no answer will pass the question to the next team in alphabetical order. Okay, here in the first semi-finals for the ninth season, in our bullseye round, 
your first image up on your screen now. Question one for image one. What is the number of green triangles seen in the image? Option A. Okay, Team C is not waiting for the options. Yes, Team C. There are six triangles which are green in the image. They're absolutely right. Well done. Well done, Team C. Image two, up on your screens now. What is the maximum number of giraffe legs in the picture? Option mm. Yes, Team C. There would be 20 legs for the giraffes. That is incorrect. What is the maximum number of giraffe legs in the picture? Options are option A, 20, option B, 24, option C, 28, or is it option D, 32? Yes, Team A, it's your turn to answer. So what would your answer be? It's option B, 24. Option B, 24. I'm going to give that to you for 10 points. Well done. The third and final image here in the first semi-final in the ninth season. Question three for image three. What is the square of the number of boxes seen here? Okay. My team B, Dubai American Academy, Dubai. So your answer would be? 36. 36 is right for 15 points. Well done, team B. Wow. Well, boys, thank you very much for a super big one. And with that, we will take a short break, but on the other side, we shall have a look at the team standing so far here on our semi-final, the first semi-final of this ninth season of Baiju Presents the Star Quiz Challenge 2019, powered by Amity University Dubai. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Baiju's Presents, the Star Quiz Challenge 2019, powered by Amity University Dubai, UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. Come, together, let's take a look at the scores of our first semi-finalist. Standing at second runner-up position as of now is my team A with 94 points. <laughs> my first runner-up, Crescent English High School Dubai, with 118 points. Well done, boys. But leading the pack right now in my first semi-final is Team B, Dubai American Academy Dubai, with a fabulous score of 175 just after two rounds. Well done. Wow, this is fantastic. You know, as they say, life is principally a multiple choice event. Well, just like our next round, categories. Now, this is brought to you by Baiju's, the learning app. Six categories to choose from. Team with the lowest points will get to choose first. In case of an incorrect or no answer, the question passes to the next lowest scoring team. So, Team A, you're my second runner-up as of now, our own English high school Sharjah boys. I will begin my categories with you. Your six categories to choose from are as follows. One, tennis. Two, business women. Three, Norse myth. Four, currency. Five, US presidents. And six, science fiction. What category would you choose? We choose tennis. The question I have for you for tennis. In 2004, which tennis star unveiled her own range of apparel under the label Aneris. Maria Sharapova. Maria Sharapova. No, I'm afraid that is incorrect. It goes to the next team with the lowest score, which is my first runner-up as of now, Crescent English High School, Dubai. Would you like to hazard a guess? Is it Steffi Graf? No, I'm afraid it's not Steffi Graf. Dubai American Academy, Dubai. You get a chance for five points. Get it. Serena Williams? Serena Williams it is. Five oh, points. Team C, it is your turn to choose amongst five categories. The categories at your disposal to choose from are as follows. One, business women. Two, Norse myth. Three, currency. Four, US presidents. And three, science fiction. What will you choose? US presidents. The question for US presidents, the category is as follows. 
Who is the longest serving president in American history? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Absolutely right. Well done. 15 points for my team C. Let's hear it for them. Okay, and that brings me to my team B, Dubai American Academy. Dubai, you have four categories left to choose from, which are namely business women, Norse myth, currency, and science fiction. What do you choose? Uh, Norse mythology. Norse mythology. Your question for the category is as follows. What is the name of the rainbow bridge that connects Asgard and Midgard? Bifrost. Bifrost is absolutely right. 15 points. Fantastically played, Team B. Very good, Team A. Very good, Team C. Arthur Conan Doyle wrote, Never trust the general impressions, my boy, but concentrate yourself upon details. Details is what you will have to pay attention to. Here in our next round, which is Starkey, brought to you by Amity University, Dubai. A direct question is asked to each team. Other two teams can hit the buzzer and reserve the right to answer in case the principal team answers incorrectly or does not answer. Team A, you get the opportunity to begin. Your question one. Which of these is a whole number but not a natural number. Your options are zero, option B, one, option C, 10. Team B has reserved its place in case they don't get it right. Zero. Zero, option A is what you choose. Yeah. Well done, you get it for 10 points. Now, question two for you, Team B, Dubai American Academy, Dubai. All the best. I'm gonna show you a visual. What is the next number in this series? Option A, 120. Option B, 150. Or is it option C, 180? Mm. Team A has hit the buzzer. If they get it incorrect, they have reserved their position to answer. 150. 150 is Team B's answer. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Team A, you have reserved the right to answer. What is your answer? 180. 180 is right. Well done. 20 points. 20 points, you reserved that one well. Team C, are you ready? Which of these were not invented in China? Option A, gunpowder. Option B, compass. Or option C, Chinese checkers. <coughs> team B has reserved the right, but team C gets to answer first. Chinese checkers. Absolutely right, 10 points to team C. Well, let's take another short break. We'll see you in a bit with the final round as we inch closer to the close of the first semi-finals in this ninth season of Baijus Presents the Star Quiz Challenge 2019, powered by Amity University Dubai. <laughs> Welcome back to the first semi-finals of this ninth season of Baijus Presents, the Star Quiz Challenge 2019, powered by Amity University Dubai. This is UA's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. And you want to know why? Here. The scores in my hand will tell you why. Second runner-up position, my team A. Don't be despondent. You've done a great job so far, and there is still hope. Our own English high school Sharjah boys, second runner-up position with 124 points. Well done. Well done. Team C, my first runner-up position. Team Crescent English High School Dubai with 143 points. Well done, Team C. But leading the pack since the beginning, since the quarterfinals, is my Team B, Dubai American Academy Dubai. Their score as of now is 195. Fabulous score. Time is an illusion that passes away too fast. Our teams will have to be fast to beat time in our last round at the buzzer, brought to you by Bic. Eight questions will be asked. 
First team to hit the buzzer gets to answer for 10 points. In case of an incorrect answer, the team will lose 5 points. Are we ready? Okay. At the buzzer, question 1. Which empire officially came to an end when Macau was handed over to China in 19... Team B has hit the buzzer. They've not let me finish. What is the answer? The Portuguese Empire. Is absolutely right. Question two. Which mammal known to us because of a namesake comic book character has a scientific name, Hulo Hulo? <coughs> Team B again. Elephant. Elephant is incorrect. Moving on. Question three. The first ever photograph of what was captured by the Event Horizon <coughs> Telescope? Team B. Black hole. Absolutely right. The black hole. Question four. A flight recorder or a black box <coughs> is... Team C not letting me complete the question. Your answer? Red. Red is incorrect. Question five. Which metal is the common element in both brass and bronze? <coughs> yes, Team C. Co Copper. Copper is correct. Question six. Starting in 2009, which city has hosted Formula One races at the Yas Min... <coughs> Yes, Team B. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is correct. Question seven. Who is the author of the Foundation series of science fiction books? Isaac <coughs> Asimov or Team C? Isaac Asimov. You've said it right, Isaac Asimov. Question eight. Which social networking site was founded by Bizstone Evan Williams? No. <coughs> yes, Team C. Twitter. Twitter is right. Well done. <laughs> Getting Team C. Another. 10 points. The final scores are as follows. Second runner-up position, Team A, our own English high school Sharjah boys, with a total of 124 points. Well done, Team A. At first runner-up position, my Team C, Crescent English High School Dubai, with a score of 168. My winning team, that's Dubai American Academy, that has surged ahead and ended the first semi-final as definitely a finalist with a grand score of 220 points. Well done, Dubai American Academy. Well done. Now, before we end this first semi-final for tonight, we have a treat for all you ardent quizzers out there. Why don't you log on to our Facebook page on facebook.com slash starplus for an exclusive question and a chance to win an exciting gift hamper. And with that, I, Mohan Kapoor, bid you farewell with the promise to return next week with the next batch of semi-finalists, UAE's sharpest quizzing minds here on Baiju's Presents, the Star Quiz Challenge 2019, powered by Amity University Dubai. <laughs>